Hey, I'm throwing a little get-to-know-you party, and guess who's coming? We've got beautiful women, handsome men, a surprise or two, and guess what? The couple that hits it off the best gets to go on the big date. Thank you very much. Welcome to the show. I'm Mark Wahlberg. This is The Big Date. All of today's players are here because they want to hook up with a member of the opposite sex. Now, when they do that, they have a chance to go on a really big date that we pay for. But temptation works behind every door. There is always a chance that somebody could get dumped. You know that. I know that. But it's just like real life, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's meet our first player, O.T. Tihanyi, 47-year-old transportation executive. O.T. Did I say it right? How are you doing? Yes. All good. Good. Hi, O.T. How are you? Good. Hey, O.T., we're, we're dressed yeah, alike. I like the like way that, you yeah. think, my friend. <laughs> We've got three ladies backstage I want to introduce you to, but what are you looking for in a lady? Well, Mark, I'm um, uh, looking for somebody that's um, um, a lady in the public's eye in a freaking bed. Ah! <laughs> the double life thing there, O.T. I think we're all kind of looking for that. Well, we have three ladies who are definitely ladies on the outside. I, I couldn't tell you about the other. But let's meet them. Say hello to Cheryl Aubrey, 50-year-old daycare provider. Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Our next lady is a 39-year-old waitress. Her name is Louise James. Say hello to Louise. Hi, Louise. A 43-year-old account executive by the name of Pam Johnson is here. Say hello to Pam. <laughs> All right. Now we see we have three beautiful right. ladies here, but we got to listen up and see what they're what they're all about, right, OT? Sure. Okay, Cheryl, you're on a first date with a guy like OT. I know both of you would be a little nervous, but how do you make him feel special? Well, I'm brown sugar and Louisiana spice, and I'll treat you ever so nice. Oh yeah! Brown sugar and Louisiana spice. Pretty heavy, but wow. delicious. Yes. Louise, how about you on a first date? Well, uh, I consider myself a pretty good cook, and I'd probably start by feeding you and then maybe giving you a little massage. And if things were going really well, then um, I'd probably try to teach you some new tricks. You a warm as an OT? Oh, it's hot over here. <laughs> Pam, it's hard to top those stories, but when you're on a date with a fellow like OT, how do you make him feel special? Well, I would start out with a candlelight dinner and um, nice bottle of wine and um, nice soft music and then we'd go for a moonlight swim and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. My goodness. Jeez. Well, the good news is, O.T., no matter who you meet, you're probably gonna get a good meal out of it. <laughs> Cheryl is Louisiana Spice Sugar. So the brown sugar and Louisiana Spice. I forgot the recipe, but it works all together. <laughs> Louise says she'll cook you a nice dinner and then you'll eat. <laughs> and then there's Pam who says that uh, she too would have a candlelight dinner and then after that maybe a midnight swim which I think is very romantic. So OT, what's going to be your choice? Hard choice, isn't it? That's a hard choice, yes. They're all lovely. They're all wonderful. They're all wonderful but I'm going to take Louise. All right, Louise, come on up. What was it about Louise that made her stick out for you? It's the way she looked at me when she came out. Oh, I is like that, that right? Yes. You know, I, I was going to say something about that because you had the eye contact going. Louise came in and went, <laughs> All right, guys, two right answers. If you're thinking alike, your answers will match. If you get two correct matches, you're our first lucky couple. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. That was that eye contact again, OT. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Finish this statement. A long walk in the rain with my lover is A, a romantic way to pass the time, or B, a good way to get wet. That's kind of... Kind of a traditional romantic thing to take a walk in the rain, but have you ever done it? Yes. It is pretty romantic. Yes, it isn't is it? romantic. As long as Very. it's not like pouring and freezing, it's pretty romantic. Right. One right answer. If you want to stay together, if you get the next one right, you know how that works. You're our, our first couple. But Louise, it's your choice. And before you make that choice, you got to meet the other guy. So say hello okay. to 48-year-old entrepreneur John Cusack. John, come on in. There he is. Hi, John. Can I have a seat right over there? 
And the next gentleman is a 37-year-old customer service representative, and his, his name is Mark Nana. Mark, come on out and say hello. Okay, Louise. We'll do the same for you that we did for OT. Let's listen to these guys, then you'll make your choice. John, these guys have one right answer already. Why should she choose you? Well, because I chose a very special place today on, on the harbor in Newport, a very quaint restaurant, Candlelight. And then I thought we'd uh, probably later on go down and uh, dress down and rock down at Club Rubber over in Santa Ana. <laughs> you know, Club Rubber is probably a good place to go for that walk in the rain. <laughs> club Rubber. <laughs> Sounds a little squeaky to me. It's the safest club in town. <laughs> Mark, how about you? Where, what do you, would you like to do on a date with Louise? Um, I like to bring a lady uh, roses and uh, take her for a nice dinner, and maybe a walk on the beach afterwards, watch the sunset, and uh, maybe the sunrise. Yeah. All right, so it's your choice. Are you going to go to Club Rubber with John? Are you going to be walking on the beach with Mark? Or are you going to be walking in the rain with O.T.? I think I'm going to take Mark. Mark. All right, O.T., we'll try again in a moment. Come on up, Mark. Hey, what was it about Mark that made you choose him? Uh, the roses. The and roses. And the nice dinner. Walk on the beach. Everything. Yeah. Very Everything, romantic. Yeah, very romantic. All right, get two right answers. You guys are our first lucky couple. Here we go. If you ran your own business, who would you rather hire as your assistant? A, someone with a great resume, or B, someone with a great body? Now, if on the resume they said they had a great body... Yeah, well, that's a plus. You win the game. <laughs> Definitely. Do you run your own business? No. You don't. So Not you don't sure. have to worry about that at all. No. Got one right answer. If you want to stay together, get another one right. You're our first lucky couple. It's your choice now, Mark. Stay with Louise if you like. Cheryl is brown sugar and a little Louisiana spice. Delicious when mixed together. Separately, not my favorites. Together, perfect. <laughs> Pam Johnson says that she would do a little candlelight dinner, a little romance, maybe a midnight swim, which is always fun. So, what's it going to be? Are you going to choose Cheryl, Pam, or Louise? I think I'll try Pam. Pam. Sorry, Louise. Pam, come on up. That's the way it goes in real life. You see somebody you want to be with. You've not invested a lot in a relationship. You move on and find the right person. What was it about Pam? She's just got a great smile. She sure does. I hadn't noticed. Thanks for pointing it out. Two right answers. You guys will be looking at each other's smile for a little bit longer. When is sex more exciting? A, when you've had some time to plan for it. Or B, when it's totally unexpected. <laughs> Why do you think that is, Pam? Well, it's, it's nice to, to just be spontaneous, you know, to uh, just, you never know, you know, when the moment and it's a good time to just uh, do when it feels good. There you go. <laughs> it's always a good time to do what feels good, isn't it? <laughs> one right. It feels good to me to go to another question. If you want to stay together, get the next one right. You're our first lucky couple. It's your choice now, Pam. You could stay with Mark. That would be spontaneous. Or you could opt for John or possibly OT. You've met these guys and nice guys. Who would you like to be with? Oh, gosh. That is so hard. It's really hard. All of you are really nice. But I'm going to try John. Yeah! All right, John, you're up. <laughs> it's one of those days when everybody plays. All right, John, good luck. You guys match up. You could be our okay. first couple. If you had to vote, who would you rather have as president? A, Bill Clinton, or B, Hillary Clinton? Oh, God. Tough choice. Yeah! That's a tough one, you guys. We didn't make it too easy on you. You guys are at least thinking somewhat politically on the same line. Your choice now. If you'd like to stay with Pam, you could. But Louise may be more of the lady you were interested in, or possibly Cheryl. So what's it going to be? Cheryl! I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm absolutely. What is it about Pam that makes you want to stay here? Uh... It's her smile, and I think she could really like Club Rub, or she could really like Club Rub. Now, I have no doubt that Club, Club Rubber, Rubber is a great place. 
But at this point, I'm wondering if you have some sort of financial interest in it. <laughs> I have some friends, though, that run it. Do you own shares in Uniroyal is what I'm getting at. <laughs> One more right answer. You guys are our first lucky couple. Look straight ahead. No cheating. Or you won't get to go to Club Rubber. You'll bounce right back here. Okay. On a cross-country flight, you get upgraded to first class, but your date doesn't. <laughs> Do you? A, show some class and go back to coach, or B, go first class and meet them at the gate. <laughs> you got it. I said A. Ah, you, you answered right. You did good. Okay. I got confused. Congratulations. I got worried they were going to dump them and go to first class, but no, they were going to show class, and that's why they're together. That's our first couple. We'll take a break. When we come back, find out which one of these other people is going to become our next couple right here on the big day. Pam and John both said that if they had the chance to sit in first class and their date had to stay in coach, that they would pass up first class to sit in coach with their date. And I have once ridden in first class, and that's quite a gift to be with your date. So, congratulations, you guys. How's it going back there? Oh, you're very oh. You're in first class in the back right over there. Let's get Cheryl up here and get another couple going. Okay, Cheryl. We have two handsome men over here. One of them may be the perfect guy for you. We have Mark, handsome Mark. With, do you like a guy with a mustache? Yes, I do. Well, he's got one, so that's good. <laughs> OT doesn't have one, but he'd probably grow one for you if you want him. So these two guys you've gotten to know a little bit, but there's also another guy behind the door who could be really the guy that you were always dreaming of if you haven't already met him. So Cheryl, which one of these gentlemen would you like to get to know about? This is really, really difficult but I'm leaning towards Mark. You're leaning towards Mark? Yeah. When do you think you'll make a commitment to make a choice? <laughs> oh, about now. Mark, you're up, buddy. Excellent. What, what, uh, what made you lean towards Mark and eventually choose him? Uh, just something about his style. You know, the, the eyes are nice. You know, he, he's got a nice look. I like him. Yeah, well, terrific. Like him. Would you like to see the guy you didn't choose? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> well, you seem pretty overwhelmed about that thought. I'd like to see him. Let's bring him out. This is the guy you did not choose back there. His name is Robert Neff. He's the 39-year-old independent contractor. Hi, Robert. Okie doke. Here it is. Ready? Yahoo! Your mate is in a playful mood and whips out a blindfold in bed. But wait, there's more. Do you A, slip it over your eyes, or B, slip it over their eyes? Oh. Well, you're perfect. For, that should count as a match. Yeah, I agree. But, I, mean, I mean, really. Unfortunately, you didn't answer correctly, but I think that if you ever do get together, it will be a perfect blindfold moment. We'll, we'll try another one, because okay. that kind of, you know, frustrated me. Which would require more luck? A, winning some bucks in Las Vegas, or B, Finding the perfect mate. Oh, guys, two up, two down. I'm sorry. Why don't you have a seat? We'll try again in a moment. Go back over this way, and you can head, well, go ahead that way. Robert, you're up, buddy. Come on up. <laughs> right over here. Two wrong in a row, which gives you a chance, Robert, to do something. Okay. We have Cheryl over here who told us earlier she is brown sugar and Louisiana spice in a delicious sort of stew. Mm -hmm. And Louise is a wonderful cook, okay? She is. Yes, that's what they, she's told me. I haven't tasted any of her food, but I, I don't think she, she didn't look like a liar to me. Yeah. I'm telling you right. All right. Well, Behind the door, however, is another lady who could be the perfect woman for you, or I could be a liar, could be a real zonk. Who knows? Mm -hmm. So, Robert, what do you want to do? I'll take the door. You'll take the door. Yeah, I'll take the door. He's living on the edge. We have a lady back there. Who is this mystery woman behind the door? Come on out and say hello to Robert. Yeah. Teresa Anastasia, 47-year-old computer operator. Hi. How are you? Hi, Teresa. Hi. How are you? Hi. Let's do it. Teresa Anastasia, computer operator. Is that right? Yes. Well, I'm glad you two can meet. Right. Now let's see if you can be together. Put your hands on those buttons. Two right answers. You are our second lucky couple. Finish this statement. Making love in public is A, a good way to spice up your love life, or B, a good way to get arrested. Yep. Really? 
Ever been arrested for that crime? No. Ever been... But could it be possible that you could have been arrested for that crime? Mm, no. No. No, nope, never been arrested. No. Very good. All right, so you got one right. If you stay together, get the next one right. You are well on your way to being our second. Well, you will be our second couple. It's your choice, though, Teresa. Robert might be the guy for you. There's Mark over there, handsome gentleman with shining blue eyes. OT is right here with a nice tie and jacket. Might be the guy more like what you were hoping for. So which one of these gentlemen would you like to get to know better? I think I like him. Yeah, what is it about Robert that you like? He's very handsome. But so are they. They all are. But, but, but that's, I uh, guess he's more my style. OK. <laughs> Next one, right? You guys are a couple. Here we go. If cheating in a relationship were a crime punishable by death, we're going to stay on this crime thing for a moment, oh, Robert. Yeah, as well. <laughs> if it were a crime punishable by death, would you be A, living a long, healthy life, or B, pushing up daisies? Yeah! All right. There we go. Clear it up. There's our answer. And our second lucky couple. When we come back, we'll find out which one of these couples gets to go on a big date. So stay with us, folks. Couples are here. They survived the first half of the show. Now we got to find out which one of these couples is meant to be together. We've got John and Pam over here on the left. Robert and Teresa, both mystery people, came out from behind the door and found each other. Give them a round of applause. Okay, me or not me, I can honestly say I love my job. Oh, no matches there. Me or not me, I have eaten Thanksgiving dinner in a restaurant. Oh, no. I've done it too. <laughs> me or not me, I know the name of my congressman. <laughs> me or not me, I would invite an ex to my wedding. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Teresa, okay, well. you would invite an ex to your wedding, an ex con or an ex boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> I have to say, one of my exes is still within the family. Me or not me, I think men want to have sex more than women. Yeah! I need your honest answers on this one, folks. Me or not me, I have begged someone to sleep with me. I am so relieved to hear that. Guess what, you guys? We've tabulated the scores, and you guys are our most competitive. Yeah! But it was great to meet you, too. I hope you had a good time. We'll take a quick break and come back and see how big the big date's going to be right after this, so stay with us. Welcome back. So we started with a whole bunch of people hoping to find that little thing we call coupledom. Pam and John have emerged victorious. Congratulations, you guys. Give them a little love. Ready to go? John, you all right, man? Yeah, I think so. True or false about Pam? Pam is turned on by a guy wearing spandex shorts. Um, false. False? Pam? False. Oh, good. Yeah! True or false? John can say I love you in seven different languages. Mm. True? False. Oh, oh. Oh. False. Oh. You got one right, That's one wrong. Let's continue. True okay. or false? Pam once competed in a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> false. I think that's false. Pam. True. Oh! Let's get some more money for you guys. Oh, True or false about John? John gets turned on having a lady shave his legs. <laughs> True or false? False. You think that's false? Yes. John? It's true. <laughs> True or false? Pam once had sex driving down the freeway in a motorhome. True. A little Winnebago love, Pam? True. Oh, yeah. yeah. True or false? John once streaked completely naked through a Denny's restaurant. <laughs> false. I think that's false. Oh, yeah. Well, John? It's true. Oh, no! <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not eligible for the trip to Jamaica, but I have really enjoyed our time together. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. I got two right. <laughs> Two right for $100. Unfortunately, we won't see you Friday for the drawing, but what are you going to do on your big date? you got got 100 bucks to, to have a date. 
We're probably going to spend some time down in Newport. Well, have a great time, Thanks you guys. Lot, nice to meet you both. Thank Give them a round of applause, you would, guys. Let's bring everybody else back down here. Well, we have learned some very interesting things on today's show. I do not suggest that any of you try to live up to Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Video of the big day. Provided by Bernini. <laughs>